Welcome to Melita's Delicacies. Today we are going to cook the famous restaurant style Bombay Pav Bhaji. I am sure all of you like it. So let's today cook Bombay Pav Bhaji at your home. If you have not subscribed to my channel or new to my channel, please show love to me by subscribing my channel now. Take a cooker. Add oil, add one teaspoon of cumin seeds, add two large chopped onions and saute them well, add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one tablespoon of chili powder, two tablespoon of pav bhaji masala, saute them well, make sure they do not burn. fenugreek or the kasuri methi. This is that ingredient which will give it the perfect restaurant style or the street side flavor to your pav bhaji. Add coriander stems. Now I cut and keep the leaves for garnishing and add the stems while cooking because they are highly nutritious. Add chopped green chilies as per your taste. Add two large chopped tomatoes and cook them till they are mushy. Now to make tomatoes mushy quickly, a tip here is add a little salt over it and mix it well and cook. Our tomatoes are ready. Add one bowl of chopped carrot. One bowl of cauliflower. One bowl of beetroot, one and a half bowl of potatoes, one bowl of capsicum, and one bowl of green peas. These are my fresh green peas. You can use frozen green peas as well. Mix them well so that they all get coated with the masalas. Add salt and mix well. Add little water, mix it well, then add if required more water but make sure that you uh, immerse all the vegetables in the water. Give a quick mix, close and cook for about seven whistles. Now why we need to cook it for seven whistles is because we want the vegetables to be well cooked so as we can match them. You see the vegetables are well cooked now. Give a quick mix. They are mushy as well. If they are not then you them again. Take a potato measure and mash the vegetables. You see right now the bhaji is watery like but as you mash the consistency of it will thicken up. Keep mashing till all the vegetables are well mashed. If you have a hand blender you can use that also. Our vegetables are well mashed. Here and there a few pieces of remains that is okay. Now be generous enough to add a lot of butter. The more butter you use, the more luscious, the more creamy, the more flavorful the pav bhaji will be. Add the coriander leaves. Mix it well and bring it to a boil. At this time if you think the consistency is thick, too thick, then you add a little water and bring it to a boil. My consistency is perfect right now. Add butter to a pan. Sprinkle some kasuri methi and chop 
coriander leaves add 1 tablespoon of pav bhaji masala mix it well saute it for a few seconds don't let it burn now place your bread on the pan and heat them up make sure they get coated well with the butter you see our bread are ready if you like my recipes please press the thumbs up and like my videos and do share with your family and friend do write your feedback in the comment box they are highly appreciated by me and also very encouraging to do better videos our appetizing bombay pav bhaji is ready add some lemon juice and garnish with chopped coriander leaves and onion i call this the vegetable basket in one go you can feed different type of vegetables to your children serve it with a generous amount of butter make this pav bhaji at your home and enjoy with your family please do show your love and appreciation by liking sharing and subscribing my channel thank you for watching this video